Welcome back here. Amen. The house, Tisley Feld. Ayan. Ano to? It's a toilet. <laughs> Balik na kami dito, guys. Dito na kami last week. Ngayon, nandito kami. Visit the house. House today. Ito na kami guys sa House of Tenstefield National Trust in UK Ayan Seven children. They had a big house in Hyde Park in London. They wanted a country home. This came up for sale in 1843, and this was all that was standing here. It was just this two-story oh, house. Yeah. That's all that was here. But by the time they'd moved in, he was the wealthiest commoner in the land because they discovered guano, which was bird droppings excavated off the islands of Peru, shipped back to England and Europe because the land here was in need of fertilizer and made him even more wealthy. Oh. So they moved in. After 10 years, that's all they done was redecorated it. And then another 10 years on, by then he was 70. I suppose he got to spend some of my money. He <laughs> could afford the best builders, the best architects. He went up and he went out. Obviously, three more generations lived here after William. Uh. And Richard, the last of the four <coughs> generations, he never married. He was, he was an army man. He just lived quietly here on a few weeks on his own. Oh. But he died unexpectedly in 2001. Oh. And he left it to 19 beneficiaries. Because once they were paid out, the house had to go up for sale. How old is he were they? And he was. Um, is that where the National Trust board? Yeah, that's when yeah. there's a How old is he died? Uh... Sorry? How old is he died? 2001? He was 73. Ah, uh, he's yeah. still young. I know, this is it. Still young. You see, William, now he was the first of the four generations. He died at 85. And then the rest of all the generations died between 50, 60 and 70. That's amazing, you'd, isn't you'd it, how his, it goes? I think his medicine is getting better it should be the opposite way around well you think you'd think yeah, so yeah. wouldn't it yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah uh -huh. yeah but there we are it's the way it goes it's amazing as I say yeah, once the, he paid them out it was in the national press it was on television saved it as well. and the money poured in and the national trust saved it which <laughs> yeah. is wonderful because it's the beauty of the workmanship in this house it's a lot guys we are here in the house. Head garden. <laughs> Beautiful house. Nice. Yeah. What's that? <coughs> the stairs love it. Okay, 
Yes, this is to show people what would be in the garden shed that you normally wouldn't get to see. That's why they put it in the house. Um, it's really trying to show people different bits of the estate, but because you don't go around the garden sheds, you don't get to see it. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, this is the first time. We've been last week, but. Uh, the house was closed, oh, right. so we just we went yeah. out and walked. Yeah, this this room was all just flat. Actually, it was the second of kids. So the inheritance was in 1887. Um, he didn't move in until 1890 because he spent three years pulling the house to pieces before he moved in. Well, he had the house that is down the school, which is on the top road, so he didn't need to. I will do them. Collection. Have you been to Lake Oak House? Look like similar. We are here, guys, in house of this 
contains the field national trust ayan the history house oh my goodness it's really the house I do not believe in him I'm scared <laughs> They are really, really, really rich, isn't it? Because they bought everything like this. You just sit in here. Build this like this. They don't know what they're doing. Their money. They just build, build, build. Isn't it? Why people like? Why? Eh, I got to go in there. Oh, that's the bottom. Why people they just keep, keep buying? <laughs> yeah. I'm just building all the that. He's sleeping there now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 